sound is pretty amazing when you think about it. You compress air or you aggressively disturb it and you create sound frequencies that the ear can pick up and then your eardrum takes that and sends electrical signals to your brain making you register sound. Because of this we can enjoy things like playing music on instruments or listening to music on your phone. To create the sound that's coming out of instruments or phones or whatever we have to create the frequencies in the air that register the sound. To do that we use speakers like this. We have a magnet with a coil inside putting electricity into it and telling it to shake the coil at a certain frequency creating that sound in the air. One thing that's really cool is once you learn to put out a certain sound frequency with the speaker and you let's say get five different ones you can register them and put them in sequence creating a song. This specific speaker is really small and cheap and won't put out obviously quality or accurate sound but it will do the job for the video. It has two cables on the back, a ground and a power. When you put power into it you're activating the magnet with the coil inside telling it to shake at a certain frequency and then it's going to start playing music. You can actually take something metal and put it next to it and you'll see that in a second the magnet will just pull it in. And let's get what we need for this video. We're going to need an Arduino, so grab one of those, you're going to need three cables, and then we'll be adding in an audio amplifier. What this is going to do, it's going to take in the sound signals from the yellow cable that should be going straight to the speaker. It's going to be going inside here, replicating them using a power cable, and putting it out. So think of it as, we're putting out signal from the Arduino into the speaker normally. We're going to take that signal, send it to an amplifier, which is going to amplify that signal times whatever we want using this little screwdriver hole here. And then we're going to send that amplified signal to the speaker, making it way louder. If you don't have one of these, you can go and directly plug into your speaker. So on your amplifier, you can see we have a GND right there out of our two ports, meaning this is going to be black and this is going to be red. So go ahead onto your speaker. You're just going to want to open up these terminals by screwing them left. Now that it's plugged in, we have black into the ground side, red into the power side. We're going to be plugging in one red cable into the 5 volt, one black cable into the ground on the board, and then we have one yellow cable for the signal plugged into port number 9 on the digital side. If you don't know the difference between digital and analog is the way they receive power. So digital usually receives either high or low, while analog can go all the way from 0 to 1000, let's say. You get more information and more options in analog, but all we need to do is use a port to outport, so we're just going to use a digital port. The yellow cable is going to go to the in port, IN right there, then the red cable is going to go into VCC, and black cable is going to go into one of the two grounds, it doesn't matter really which one. Once that's all plugged together, go and plug it into your computer and open up your Arduino editor. As always, we need to tell the Arduino... As always, we need to tell the Arduino which port we're plugging the buzzer into. So in this case, we're going to go const int and make a pin in port number 9. Then as always, in the setup, you're going to be telling it the pin you're using and then what you're going to be using it for. So we're going to activate pin mode. And then inside of that you're going to call pin and then you're going to call output because we're sending out power. Then we can go straight to our loop and call a command called tone. Tone puts out a frequency that we give it so the first thing we need to do is tell it what port and then we can tell it a frequency, let's say a thousand. Under that let's go and do a delay of one second. And now every second we should be hearing a one. Now go and upload it to your Arduino to make sure everything's plugged in properly. And now we can hear this really annoying buzz. If you want to disable the tone because it's getting really annoying while you're trying to write the code or whatever, just put two slash lines in front of the word and then re-upload it to the Arduino. I was thinking instead of doing a full song because I don't have one available, we can just go and create our own little sequence. That was at a thousand hertz here. The first one's at a thousand. Let's go and copy paste this a couple times and then on each specific one we're going to bump it up by one and just continue to go all the way down bumping it up by one. Now go ahead upload that to your Arduino and it should start playing for you. That was okay, but it, it was kind of annoying how long it took for each sound to go. So let's go and remove one zero from the delay. And now we'll have this like really weird rainbow sound effect. Sounds like you want something at a carnival, like one of those jackpot machines. I'll move the mic closer. 
Let's say you're not happy with the current sound level and you wish it was a bit louder. Just grab a screwdriver, plug it into your amplifier, and just twist. So just a little recap, if you don't understand what's happening when we're pumping audio into the amplifier and then from the amplifier into the speaker, let's say we're sending signals like this. There's one every little space here, just keep sending signals, and these are different sounds. What the amplifier is going to do is it's going to take that, it's going to send them to the speaker, but it's just making them way bigger at the same frequency and pattern and length in between them. It's, just, it's repeating exactly what it's receiving, just putting it out with stronger power. So when we played a sound, and we went and put a screwdriver and little screw knob there, and we twisted it up or down, just like this, we're able to go and control the power and how strong it is. If you learned something new in this video, please consider liking the video and maybe subscribing to the channel to see more of this type of content. We're going to be building a couple of nice projects soon on stream, live with you guys. You guys can ask questions, you guys can build it with me on your own setup. Here we were making an alarm clock where we're going to be using the speaker, the amplifier, and an Arduino to go and make an alarm clock. We're going to have the LCD monitor from last video, and then here are a couple buttons where you can go and set up the time.